This video from GE Wind Logistics shows the high-level quality and safety procedures for loading the GE 48.7 and 50.2 meter blades onto a blade trailer. The general rigging arrangement is shown here. Lift the root end of the blade with a sling around the root per the location identified in the S0009 spec. With a second crane, lift the tip fixture using four slings attached to the fixture's D-rings. GE strongly recommends that two cranes or top loaders with appropriate capacity be used for blade trailer loading. Both cranes will need to be coordinated to keep the blade as level as possible. Using both cranes, carefully lift and place the root fixture onto the trailer first. A rubber mat should be applied between the root fixture and the trailer frame to increase surface friction. Do not secure the root fixture to the trailer at this time. You must wait until the tip fixture has been placed on the trailer as the root fixture will need to rotate a few degrees in order for the blade to maintain the trailer center line. Place the tip fixture on the trailer. Again, rubber matting is required between the tip fixture and the trailer frame to increase friction. The blades must be attached to the trailers by the fixtures only. No fixture securement shall come in contact with any of the blade surfaces. Secure the fixtures to the trailers using chains. During transport, check and correct the tension of straps, chains, and other restraints at regular intervals. Please refer to the S0009 spec for additional information on leading edge and trailing edge protectors and information on blade serrations. After releasing the shackles from the D-rings, extreme care should be taken to avoid impacting the blade surface with the shackles.